Hi, my name is Tatiana Kolikov from the University of Wyoming, and I'm presenting a project with Dr. Carolyn Pepper looking at emotion regulation problems and non-suicidal self-injury. Non-suicidal self-injury refers to deliberate destruction of body tissue um, without the intention to commit suicide. It includes behaviors such as cutting, skin picking, burning, hair pulling. So we're looking at history of an SSI across the lifetime in college students and how it's uh, related to emotion regulation problems. So there's six different types of emotion regulation problems we assessed, as well as a global emotion regulation deficit score. And our main findings indicate that the biggest difference lies between people who've engaged in more than 100 episodes of self-injury in their lifetime uh, compared to individuals who've never engaged in an SSI. Interestingly, people who've engaged in an SSI less than 10 times in their life really don't differ from people who've uh, never done it. So um, the implication of this finding is that perhaps if we were to intervene with individuals when they first start to engage in self-injury, um, when the behavior just starts and we do an emotion regulation intervention, perhaps at that point we can prevent the behavior from becoming more chronic within their lifetime. Also, uh, we also didn't find any differences between people who have um, engaged in an SSI um, between 10 times and 100 times in their lifetime and people for whom it's become a more chronic behavior.